as you can see, my yard is on a hill. Well, my house is sort of flat, but the rest of the yard is uphill. Um, that's one reason I have a lot of ground cover and daylilies. I've lived here for 45 years. The red flower in the pot is a tall pentis, old-fashioned pentis. Butterflies and hummingbirds really like that plant. And I'll try to take cuttings and root them and grow them over winter. There's a red maple tree. We have had lantern flies this year, um, spotted lantern flies. And I have, didn't know if it was, they were going to affect our maple trees, but so far, other than landing on them, they, I don't see that they've done damage, but time will tell. I uh, have some, the yellow flower is Melopodium, I think, and there's some orange uh, profusion zinnias here, which there's, they're not really doing that well anymore, but they really put on a show. There's four Kufia, the vermilion air plants that look good, and there's four or five hot lip salvias right here that are looking really good. I have a cardinal vine, one cardinal vine, hummingbirds like that, and, and you can see how the, the leaves on the viburnum are changing uh, because it's fall and going into winter. And there's a, a willow shrub there. It needs to be cut back, but birds love those two shrubs. In this area here, there's a large bed of daylilies. Um, and I have a lot of ground cover again. This salvia is called blue suede shoes, rock and blue suede shoes. There's an orange profusion zinnia, another hybrid of a salvia, red salvia. There's three blue fortune agastache plants there, and another. Uh, a tip of another type of Augustaki there, Brazilian verbena and hot lip salvia. This yew was planted by a bird many years ago and I just left it go and it adds some interest to the garden. Here's a grouping of Brazilian verbena that I cut back. I left a few. Hummingbirds um, will go to the flowers Butterflies really like them, but it's been a very disappointing year for seeing butterflies. Here I have a, a um, well, I have two Mexican sunflowers, and I have one hibiscus, a red hibiscus that's reblooming. I just planted two Ava's hummingbird mint there. I got those from um, out in Utah from an online garden center. There's some uh, Japanese forest grass here and a small butterfly bush, a dwarf butterfly bush. I'm going to turn off the video and take, probably take the last video of this tour.